Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be introducing uh, a new device to you. Uh, it's called VCX SE for BMW. It's a fairly new device, came out I think in late 2019. Uh, and see if it's actually an equivalent icon device um, or not. Starting with the uh, unboxing, comes in a uh, pretty small packaging with some information all around the box and some uh, contact information about the company if you want to uh, ask them any questions which I did and then their response time was pretty pleasing they got back to me straight away I'd say within a few hours uh, in the box you first of all get the dongle this is a dongle only package so um, it's just a standalone device. There's a USB C input there, a couple of lights, and some button and OBD2 port. Quite compact comparing to the original ICOM device, really. So that's why I wanted to give it a go and purchased one of these all the way from China. However, uh, they had a warehouse in the UK, also in USA. So if you're ordering from these countries, You'll get it in a week or so, the latest. A CD comes out of the box, which you don't need really. Um, you can download the software on their website, free download and USB cable, quite long. And this is a VCX SE for BMW only version. Uh, you can get some licenses uh, for other car makes and uh, different brands on the market but this is only for BMW and once we open the app on desktop you'll see a window like this and a few lights are showing up on the dongle itself just to um, I think trying to make the connection without connecting it to the car this is uh, what we're going to see and while you're doing the connection um, if you're not sure if it's connecting or not all you need to do is just press the reconnect button after a few seconds and it should connect straight away and we are going to talk about um, other buttons and options what they do very briefly and see if the device is worth using it All right, after clicking the reconnect button this is what you see all the information test device button it just shows you if there is something wrong with the device otherwise it says completed press ok and then move on to firmware uh, version which you get on a regular basis getting updated all the time I mean on a regular basis of course uh, all you need to do is just toggle on the switches and then uh, press the upgrade button to update your software for a new one and doip switch is one thing we need to talk about uh, you need to turn it on in order to make a solid connection and programming uh, options otherwise it wouldn't recognize your car so it needs to be pressed on and once you're on ISTA the uh, software ISTA D or ISTA Plus is going to recognize the device as an icon or equivalent which is very promising so we are going to do some complete identification and see how things work but again once you turn on the dope switch you can minimize it and then we'll come back to that in a second updates uh, and licenses although it shows like valid for 60 days this is not the case there uh, it just renews itself automatically and my configuration for connection is like on auto um, I emailed the company and then they said like don't worry about it it's going to be renewing itself automatically every time you do a software update and some other car brands that this device support uh, of course based on a license you buy and some other options that directs you to the specific car uh, brand websites to get more information now we're going to try to set up a connection with ISTA. Um, pressing on a dope switch is going to be required uh, to make a good connection. 
once you click on that it will recognize your car and assign a um, VIN number and IP address uh, whatever it's doing in the background it's a kind of protocol that uh, communicates with the car so once you press it it will recognize your car and then you can minimize this window and work on ISTA from now on And as you can see, the device is fully connected. Exactly the same page on there. It's a very compact device. Uh, I'm very happy with the size of it. And when you go on ISTA, you use it as usual. You don't need to do anything different. You just go onto your um, complete car identification and then continue your either coding or programming session or software update session again it's recognizing the device as an icon or equivalent um, one thing that uh, makes me comfortable about this device and makes me think that it's an actually icon equivalent or it's capable of working as an icon uh, is because it shows the um, terminal voltages 15 and 30 uh, all the time this is a good sign because you can't see it on enet cable you can only see it uh, on icon so this tells me that this device is capable of delivering a full programming um, features um, on ISTA I also try to connect it using a Wi-Fi option on the uh, VCX dongle which works fine but again I prefer cable connection which is more reliable and faster um, but that is an option as well if you want to connect on Wi-Fi and do small coding sessions or programming sessions I'm not sure um, as I didn't do anything yet so on my control tree well, my EPS does this from time to time so we're just gonna simply demonstrate um, a fault code delete just to show that this device is actually working as normal um, you can also do this with an ENET cable of course uh, some diagnostics up to certain uh, points but again this device shows that it is working on diagnostics uh, but to do programming uh, or software update on integration level I'm going to be making another video in the near future and then share it with you at least um, at the moment there's no problem with my car uh, but I just wanted to see this device's potential and uh, capabilities on programming sessions so that's why I'm going to make another video in the near future uh, to do at least a software update on i-level factory and see how it's going to handle so far I've been very happy with this device's uh, capabilities it's fast it's reliable uh, during connections uh, price is incredibly cheap comparing to the original icon so all I can say is I highly recommend this device to BMW lovers and if you work on your BMW on a regular basis this is a device that you should get thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next video